Hello viewers, I am Dr. Amit Reddy. I am an orthopedic surgeon at Continental Hospital. I specialize in treating bone and joint related issues. Today, I uh, will be discussing about something very common and something absolutely neglected. That is certain foot conditions, uh, especially pertaining to people who have diabetes. Now, commonly when uh, we see people having the diabetes, uh, there are two issues which can cause primarily issues which can cause uh, such foot issues. One is because of reduced sensation within the foot. They cannot perceive minor injuries or sometimes even something as simple as scratches and abrasions. At the same time, uh, certain injuries, if they have already have these uh, issues, then raised blood sugars will delay the healing process or prevent it from healing completely and invariably ending up with non-healing ulcers. We commonly see it in the base of the foot or in between the uh, web spaces, that is the space between the finger toes and when in, they start uh, spreading out and they don't heal many a times people start with uh, home remedies or you know uh, some something which their friends or colleagues or somebody else at home would have told them applying turmeric or sometimes i've seen even people apply ghee and those sort of stuff but ultimately such issues need to be addressed early because if neglected they can cause multitude of problems ranging from non-healing ulcers to spreading all across the foot or sometimes they may spread into the bone what we call as osteomyelitis which is an infection of the bone or uh, it can lead to a particular problem called as cellulitis wherein the infection spreads all along the foot or the leg leading to infection and uh, that invariably leads to raised blood sugars which will prevent the healing process it's a vicious cycle which goes on now in rare cases this may even spread all across the body what we call as septicemia which may become a life-threatening issue. And in such scenarios, as I said, a stitch in time saves nine. So whenever you have a problem within the foot, wherein we notice a wound or ulcer which is not healing, in a, especially in a diabetic person, it is ideal to treat it at the earliest. So what are the treatment options available? So this again depends on the time of presentation. If it's a mild or initial stage, uh, certain medications, certain antibiotics or uh, sometimes we do a procedure called as debridement where we clean the wound, remove all the bad uh, tissue from there and then apply a particular set of or type of dressings. Uh, over the last decade or so, the type of dressings that are available has uh, changed the treatment uh, in such scenarios quite a bit. And apart from that, we also have a lot of footwear modifications that we can do to leave pressure on these ulcers and help in healing of these answers. Now if it has already spread to the bone, there we may have to clean the remove the infection from the bone and clean the bone as well. Uh, that's an again slightly tedious procedure as compared to just cleaning the surface. And uh, in certain cases we may even have to put a particular special type of dressing called as a vac dressing. So it's a vacuum suction dressing which prevents formation of further pus or uh, fluids there and tries to keep the wound dry at the same time helping in uh, promoting the natural healing part. Now in cases where the present late wherein the infection spreads to the leg called as cellulitis there we may have to do certain other procedures sometimes put them on IV antibiotics wherein they may require a slightly longer hospital stay. But bottom line the earlier the presentation uh, the better the treatment and do not neglect such wounds or such ulcers non-healing ulcers especially in people who are diabetic uh, these need specific treatment to prevent any certain long-term issues that may arise out of it and any long-term uh, morbidities that may arise out of it. In case, severe cases, we may even sometimes tend end up doing uh, amputation, that is removing the part. So as I said, prevention is better than cure. So do not neglect such things and try to treat them at the earliest possible time. For any doubts or queries regarding this, we are always available at Continental Hospital. You can contact us. Thank you very much.